Hi guys, uh, we're here at the Garden Concept. Uh, I'm Tony Pittam from uh, Managing Director of Cold Water Barn Dubai. And this is Haydel Youssef. Hi guys, Haydel Youssef. Well, one thing that I've really enjoyed is the interaction with kids and koi. Uh, you know, the, uh, the time I spend with my boy, we're just feeding the fish. Uh, you know, he's asking the questions about the size and the different varieties of the koi. Uh, it's, it's a real special moment for me and I believe you too as well, Haydel. Absolutely, the whole family gathers around the pond, enjoy it. We even do, you know, the, the, the exercise over a few months, take out the koi, check the size, how yeah. they've grown, how the color have changed, what's happened to this. And watching koi development is phenomenal, you know, sure. because people don't realize that, but koi evolve and develop and they become more, be more beautiful, especially if they're the right koi from the right bloodlines. They can only get better and better and better as, as they grow. And it's a really phenomenal mm. experience uh, to, to watch that and yeah. see it. The, the, the hobby of koi as well is uh, even, even, even people like me that have been in the game for 30 years, we are still learning every day something new. You know, it's a hobby that can really educate and you get really into, uh, like for example, the development of certain koi. You know, you look at a koi and the dealer may say, oh, this black's gonna come up, this is gonna happen, that's gonna happen. And you guys must be thinking, how do they know that? We know that by a long term experience and breeders um, knowledge and experience on growing these fish on in, in great environments. And uh, seeing the development is a real satisfying um, uh, uh, experience. What, what we're going to do soon, uh, we're going to go over, we're going to put a few koi into the bowl for you and explain the quality and why, why they're different prices. Also, you know, Tone, on, even on the science of building a koi pond and evolving the filtration system, there's a lot of possible innovation there. We do a lot of R&D, especially for this part of the world, mm. because that science is not there. So we're actually continuing to discover, evolve, especially as it comes to big massive lakes. You know, th there's a lot of that science that we're developing and we're very proud to be the first people in this part of the world to actually develop that science and innovate and, and continue to get better and better because especially in Dubai, the, the, the leaders of Dubai, the ethos of Dubai, we want to be the best in everything and we want to be the best in Poi as well. That's correct, that's correct, yeah. And you know, our, our company will go from uh, you know, the man on the street up to the koi connoisseur to supply you what you need. I'm going to show you now, we've just netted the koi from this pond, we're going to show you the appreciation of some koi. Now don't try this at home, this is something professionals do only. Uh, if you're using your fish at home, you would use a sock net like this to net the fish into the bowl. And what we're going to show you now is how to take the fish out by hand. Well done, Tony. There we go. And uh, nicely done. done. Excellent. Now you just saw me put the, the last fish in by hand. With slight, this this one's a little bit more expensive and slightly bigger, which I'm quite happy to. But if if you're going to use one of these sock nets, that's the most appropriate way of, of moving fish. It's as easy as this. Look. Yeah, that's one of the problems with dealing with koi. You're going to get wet. Yeah. Here we're back again now. Uh, we've put two types of koi into the bowl to tell you a little bit about their appreciation. Uh, these koi are showa. So showa is basically a, uh, a, uh, a koi with white background, lots of black and a red pattern. Now, with these two, uh, these, two are these two are two different prices and two different sizes. Uh, we're gonna try and um, um, advise a little bit about the quality and, and the differences in these two. Now, first of all, this one here, this is a very beautiful show up from a breeder called Isa. Now, if you can have a look, the body shape is very conformed. It's not dumpy as we would say, uh, and it's got very good body line. You can see the caudal peduncle here is very thick which indicates that the koi is going to grow to a big size, maybe 80, 85 centimeters. And first of all, we have a nice base red pattern, very interesting head pattern here, like a circle on the head, which is known as maritan. Uh, then very nice red patterning with the black patterning, like a checkerboard effect over the koi. Now the fins are perfect. You have black in the base of the fins, which is mochiguru. Uh, now, in the next couple of years, this black area you see here 
will go as black as what it's on the nose. That's the general um, development of this breeder's koi. He has very, very good white skin and very, very, so this black here will end up as strong as this here. Now, when we go over to this other koi, if we have a look at the body shape for foot starters, you can see it's a little bit out of, uh, not as symmetrical as, as, as we would like, yeah? Still, the patterning is very, very good. We have the nice circle here, nice balanced red pattern, and the black coming up in, in different areas. If we look at the fins, the fins aren't perfect, are they? So the fins, a little bit stepped there. there yeah. yeah, and the body shape isn't completely right. Now, that is reflected, obviously, in the price. This one, it's gonna cost you roughly about 2,000 dirhams. This one is over 10, 12,000 dirhams. So that's a summary of why these koi are priced differently. Now, shisui is a known, this is a shisui, which is a Deutz fish. Deutz is um, um, uh, German and Japanese. These are a little bit crazy, so uh, you'll have to bear with me. What we try and do is spin it around a little bit. Get it into there. There we go. Oh. There we go. Two very nice examples of shisui. Shisui is a very colorful, bright fish, and a lot of beginners start off with these fish, and a lot of experts like these yeah, fish too. Love them. Of course, yeah. yeah now, here we have this uh, small one here, which has shisui have very good um, red trunking along the side, and uh, they should have clear heads, uh, deep red. Uh, and they have like a zipper of big scales in blue along the, uh, the, 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 the dorsal of the, and the back of the koi. Uh, this one here, uh, this is a smaller really koi. Good. It's yeah. a very nice one. Has yeah. a few ginwin scales there, which are the bright ones that, that look like diamonds. Uh, very nice zipper. Maybe the head isn't as clear as you'd want it for. Uh, and this is probably a male koi. Male koi in some instances are cheaper than females. Uh, and it's a younger fish. Obviously. It's a younger it's fish as well, smaller. Fish. Now this is going to set you back about 950 dirhams. Uh, this bigger one here, this is a very good example of a female shisui. You don't get much better than this, guys. Uh, nice clear head, just a few little dots there. Very nice zipper. But look at the white quality of the fish. It's really glowing. And uh, koi, koi need a good canvas, like a painting, a good white canvas, that then the red and the colors look a lot brighter and, and a lot more distinguished. Uh, this one is a very good example. This one could grow maybe up to about 85, 90 centimeters in the right koi pond. Uh, very symmetrical yeah. as well. You can see, I mean, it's got the red on both eyes, yeah. the, the red on both sides. That's right. The, the zipper is very symmetrical. Beautiful. It is, and very nice body shape yeah, on this one, you know. The body good. shape, when it gets to 80, 85 centimeters, is gonna be very, very imposing very bulky, and the fish will have extremely good aura. Yeah, you can see the shoulders already, you see that they've got the shoulders coming up very strongly, the whole body is balanced, you can see the, the torpedo line of the fish, you know, sort of thick coda at the back, really nice. And also the edging, the edging of the red pattern is very, very sharp. It's not blurry, it's sharp, which is uh, signs of a very, very high quality koi. This one is going to set you back a little bit more because of the fact it can grow to 85, 90 centimeters in the quality. This one's about 8,000 dirhams. Okay. I will cut them up close and personal. That's going to be a The head could have been a bit more clear there, but still very nice red, very nice zipper throughout the fish. You know, really a few rogue really scales cool. here, you yeah. know, there's bigger scales in yeah. a show fish or something. And it's all reflected in the quality. And the price. Is very, very obviously sort of clear. No there. rogue scales, rogue yeah. Beautiful side. leather look there, yeah. look at that. Yeah, yeah. very yeah. nice. Yeah. Really, yeah. really nice. Yeah. Side as well, yeah. very, very nice. Um, and the red colour, as the koi gets bigger, will get brighter and brighter and brighter. So all in all, two very, very, very nice very koi. Beautiful yeah. fish, great value for money and fish that you can continue to enjoy and they can develop and grow for a long time. Yeah. So enjoy your koi. Yeah. All right, Tony San, you want to talk to us about some of these? Yeah, it's, it's taken us a while to get these ones out from here, but we've, we're there now, a little bit wet. Uh, so here we have four examples. These koi are all around the thousand dirhams mark. So uh, very, very good value for money. Uh, very blingy. Very, very blingy. So uh, we have four different types here. 
This one is a Deutz Harawaki lemon. So it has a beautiful white skin and very nice yellow Harawaki pattern. Uh, this one here is a scaled Ginrin Harawaki. So same as this one, but this one has no scales. And these two are Deutz Kahaku and Deutz Sanki. Deutz Kahaku is a white fish with the Deutz scales with nice red patterning. Very sharp cut, very sharp edging and very, very strong red color. This is a Deutz Sanki with lovely red color. And then Sumi, which is black in Japanese, uh, on, on the pattern. But all in all, four very, very affordable fish, Hader. What do Absolutely. you have to say? Great, great value for money. Very nice fish, beautiful colors, and they can immediately brighten up the pond and give it a different personality. Yeah. Uh, so it's a lovely fish, yeah. definitely. And a lot of these fish will come and they will feed out of your hand and interact with your whole family. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna get damages from the... Uh... Okay, koi lovers, uh, just spend a bit of time getting two of the largest fish in the pond out. So even wetter now, aren't we? Yep. Uh, but I just want to explain these two. This one here is about 75 centimeters. This is a Yamabuki Ogun. So it's like a bar of gold. And what you're looking at this particular fish is the nice clear head, the real gold color. And if you can see the scalation here, this is called Fukuri. Now this denotes that the fish can get, get a lot bigger. This koi can probably maybe reach the magical one meter mark. Uh, this koi here, Haydar, this, was a, this is a Sankey from Sakai, I believe. Yeah, Momotaro. Oh, Momotaro, uh, which is one of the premier breeders. Uh, now, what I want to explain to you, these guys, this is an 80 centimeter fish. Now, uh, yeah, now, yeah. now, a lot of the points on the fish are very good. The nice round spot on the head, the nice kahaku pattern, the very, very, very strong, nice. strong sumi, which is the black, and the actual skin is very, very good quality. Now, we have a slight demerit on the fish, which are these little flaps in the gills here. Now, ordinarily, this fish could command a price of 20, 20 30,000 dirhams possibly. But because of these um, uh, demerits, you can pick this one up for 9, about 9,000. Uh, uh, for a big fish, uh, the Yamabuki Ogun, Yamabuki, <laughs> the Yamabuki Ogun is priced at about 18,000. About 18, but uh, if you're interested in these koi, we could do these at 25% off for the first uh, first uh, people to DM us or, or PM. Now, these koi look beautiful in a big pond. They will come, they will eat out of your hands, interact with your whole family. And at Garden Concepts, you can come look at these koi, as well as the beautiful trees that complement any koi pond anywhere. And you know, I think this is why this uh, partnership with the garden true, concept yeah. is really, really a good one because it's all about bringing nature to the environment, right? So you can create that zen space with a little pond, with the greenery, with the within space. your own heart. Absolutely, yeah. you can actually enjoy this in your life, have mm. the space, and, and enjoy uh, sort of the green and the water. And I think that that's why we we really thank the garden concept for this part yeah, thank you. And mm. we think together we can bring a lot more happiness to people's lives. Yeah.